Okay, you guys ready for number 10? This is Dr. Karen Sullivan, board certified neuropsychologist. I care for your brain. We've been here for six years, try to get here weekly. I actually do this on my lunch break. I do this after hours and I am here to spread science-based brain health information so you can be your very best advocate. It's very important to me that you have quality information to make your brain health decisions on. There is many, many, many too many products out there that do nothing, that are a waste of your time, your money, and your hope. So I really felt that there was a need to get out here as a brain health expert who has objectivity and keeps up on these things and just share with you uh, things that I think would benefit your personal health. So what do you think number 10 is? I wonder what you think I've missed so far. If you've been here with me through the whole series, I really appreciate that. I think that it's wonderful that you have been motivated to learn all of these different steps. And for number 10, I'm actually gonna encourage you to keep going. My 10th secret of brain health is to keep learning learning about science-based brain health. What I hope you have learned so far is it's critically important to reduce the known risk factors that cause dementia, increase the cognitive reserve that will help buffer against the dementia, and that's really the best you can do. We don't want you falling for schemes related to memory pills, related to brain games. There is really no substantial science that tells us that those things do anything at all. And, and if anything, it's nothing compared to the mountains of peer reviewed, high quality research that we have about all of the tips that I've given you so far. So as you think about the things that we've covered, I really want you to try to put them into practice. The way I try to organize this information is on the front end, it's like, a, why is this important? Here's some interesting facts. But my goal is to give you practical action steps. I'm always trying to tell you some very specific things you can do to take back the power and be in the driver's seat. So with this recommendation is keep learning about science-based brain health, I want you to question media reports about you know, brain health miracles, right? I want you to be a little bit more skeptical. I want you to try to track down some of these original sources. One of the best free resources we have is Google Scholar. So if you haven't explored that, you can basically put in any brain health item. It's gonna allow you to bring up high quality journal articles. Many of them do have PDFs that go along with them, not always, but you can always read the abstract that will give you the basics. And that, is how I would like you to be guided in this journey for brain health, not by advertisements, um, not by scare tactics. I think that looking to people who have an objective stake and are motivated to give you the truth, no matter if they're trying to, to sell you something or not, is key. You really have to consider the source when you're thinking about brain health because there are unfortunately a lot of examples of exploitation out there that I could point to. So on our channel here at I Care For Your Brain, you have years and years of free resources. There are hundreds of videos that are up here. Some are full length lectures, like 40 to 50 minutes long that are at the level I've given at places like UNC Chapel Hill, Harvard Medical School. I am, am coming to you at that same level of peer-to-peer -peer conversation. Others are five, 10 minutes where I'm just trying to give you a quick little snippet of something brain health that is related to your everyday life or something that's in the news. But what you can always count on is that it is a fair, objective review. Um, I very rarely recommend any type of product. And if I do, it's always low cost, meant to be high quality, something you kind of can't do it without. Um, so if it's in there, it's you know usually um, something that I feel like you can definitely trust. So that's my, my 10th one. I hope that you have enjoyed the series. I hope you feel more empowered and I look forward to exploring other topics with you in the years to come. Thank you so much for being here. Take care, bye.